Josh, thank you. It's this ever-changing landscape that has one of Syracuse's favorite restaurants still closed. I talked with the owner of Lacey's Tapas Bar about why she's taking the slow and steady approach to a reopening targeted for July 30th. I just, um, I guess maybe I'm just too crazy about making sure all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. I, I don't know, Jeff, but that's, I just said, no, I'm not going to do it. This is Sir Way's 10th year owning Lacey's Tapas Bar, and for her, reopening during a pandemic has to be done very carefully. It's all about safety. I go through that restaurant every day, and I have people there at least once or twice a week, change this, fix that, move this. We've gone through and changed out the, the uh, system for the air filtration. We've got the UV lights going in. We've got a, a, a specific person that's called the sanitation guru. I mean, I've made a boatload of changes to be positive that safety is the number one measures. Surway just got approval for an outside tent to give her more room, but since tables need to be socially distanced, she's not necessarily gaining more seats. Safety first, but she says this all has to make economic sense to reopen right now. I've made it crystal clear to, to our constituents that listen folks, July 30th may come and go. My goal is July 30th, but if those numbers don't work, there's no sense of me putting good money after bad. With the time off, Lacey's changed up the lunch menu, jazzed up the tapas menu, same thing for the wine and cocktail menu. I'm going to take this time to turn this silver lining platinum. So when you walk into Lacey's, you see that we've changed, you see that we've upgraded, and you are feeling safe and secure that we have your best interest in mind. And with that, Surway says all her staff have been certified by State Restaurant Association Serve Safe class. And she tells me whenever she does open, still targeting July 30th, it will probably be just three days a week to start out.